<clears throat> hey everybody, it's your girl Antonia. Welcome back to my channel again, or welcome to my channel if you're new and haven't already subscribed. You know, I feel like I make the awkward, most awkward intros out of anybody on YouTube, so I apologize for that. I'm just gonna forget about the intro today. Just honestly, I'm just gonna jump into the video. I have gotta go get my iPad. So I have some questions and assumptions to answer and talk about with you, but my iPad's dead, so I have to charge it for a minute. So while I'm charging it, while I'm doing reading you guys' questions and answering them, I'm also gonna do like a little fun holiday makeup look well i'm gonna try i should say i'm gonna try i don't know if i'm gonna um conquer it but we shall see i need makeup wipes <laughs> she's had a rough day okay so first i'm gonna do my brows like always and I use the same thing that I've been using since I started YouTube. It's the Anastasia Dip Brow in Dark Brown. And then I use her pencil thing, whatever. I don't fucking know. I don't know what I'm talking about. My first question is what made you want to do YouTube? Um, honestly, I don't know. I've been watching YouTube videos since I was like, I don't know. I've been watching YouTube videos for a while. And funny story, actually, I already had um, a YouTube account back when I was like 14. Me and my best friend at the time used to do these little stupid videos. I mean, they were so stupid. And yeah, I think we put out like five videos. I don't know if anybody even ever seen them, but I don't know, they were just stupid videos or whatever. But no, what got me into wanting to do YouTube um, and actually like pushed me to actually do it is I've been like obsessed with makeup for a long time. I haven't always been able to like do it very like the best or as good as I do it now. But I kind of just, I don't know, one time I was on Snapchat and I just for some reason started filming myself doing my makeup and Everybody was just like, oh, you should start doing tutorials. Um, you should make YouTube videos. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Like, I've been thinking about it for a minute. I've just always been, like, kind of shy and, like, to myself and really quiet. So I never really wanted to do it because YouTube is, I mean, not obviously for me, not right now because I'm not a big YouTuber by any means. But if for some reason I was ever to go and make it, like, bigger on YouTube and actually be, like, noticed by, like, more than just, like, a couple thousand people. Um, I don't know. I feel like it's a really personal business, and I don't really like people knowing that much about my life and what I'm going through. I don't like sharing details. So I never really thought the YouTube life would be for me, but then I just decided I'm just going to do it for fun, something to do and talk and kind of hang out with people in a sense. So yeah, basically just the like want to do something and do something like be able to do something at home that you have fun doing and that you enjoy doing. And then obviously people wanted to see it, so it made me want to do it even more to notice that people are like actually interested. And then, um, the next one is just same as pinky is bad, period. You know. Um, and then the next question is, how come you so bad? And 
I don't know. I guess I was born with it. I'm just kidding. But no, I don't know. I'm honestly, I don't really feel like a bad bitch or whatever, but I guess I just couldn't know what I want and go for it. So yeah, I don't really know if that was an answer to your question, but um, the next question is name three people you hang out with the most. That would be my fiance Nate, my sister Bella, and then I have two other people I hang out with the most <clears throat> is my homegirl Nika and then my homegirl Avery. Um, those are the four people I hang out with the most and I wanted to include both of them because it's always like on and off, like me and Nika, we hung out um, every weekend all summer long. And then now that, you know, summer's over and we don't go out as much, we haven't hung out as often, but we still do hang out quite regularly. And then me and Avery, we hang out for like weeks on end and then we'll go like weeks on end without hanging out. So it kind of just, um, it kind of just depends, but yeah, this is the first time I'm doing my brows without being like right up in the mirror's fucking face, and they're not bad, not bad at all. Okay, and then now the next step I'm going to do is just conceal my eyebrows with the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I just honestly draw a line, a pretty thick line, um, underneath my brows with the concealer. And then I just take this little Eco Tools flat little blending brush and I just shape them or outline them. I mean, okay, so now that I have my brows concealed, I'll answer another question. Um, the next question is, what's your favorite hobby? Um, it's actually a good question. Um, I mean, I don't know, hobbies... What do hobbies consist of? Like anything you like to do? <laughs> um, I like to do puzzles. I like to do my makeup, obviously. You know what, a hobby, I like people watching. It's weird and most people don't admit it, but don't even lie, I know there's a lot of you out there that like to just watch people. And I don't mean like creepy, like stalker shit. I mean just like, just paying attention to your surroundings. Yeah, just like watching people. It's like, it's like animal watching. It's like going to the zoo. Like go to a park and just fucking sit there and just watch people. Like everybody acts so differently and like the way people move and the way people just like, I don't know, just their whole essence is obviously completely different than the person right next to them. And it's just crazy to see it's just crazy to watch how everybody acts. I don't know, maybe that's a weird thing to admit on YouTube, but I don't know. Me and my friends used to get together and people watch all the time. <laughs> so, maybe we're just a bunch of fucking weirdos. Um, the next question is, how old are you? And I'm 22. I'll be 23 January 5th, so pretty soon. Y'all trying to party for my birthday, let me know. Probably gonna go downtown. Um, by the way, right, I'm doing right now is just putting vitamin E oil on my face. Um, I do that after I moisturize, but I haven't washed my face for the night because I'm actually filming this. It's about 8.30 right now. And then I'll just wash my face after this. But I want the foundation to go on as smoothly as possible for the video. So I just put it on as like a little base instead of primer. Um, the next question is what sign are you? I am a Capricorn. 
Um, the next question is, what's your favorite color? Um, it varies with my moods or like the time of year typically, but as of right now, my favorite color is back to pink. Um, I'm really obsessed with the color pink. A couple months back, my favorite color was orange. I still really like the color orange, but pink has been like my go-to. Um, so I'm going to take the James Charles palette and I'm going to use the first shade as a transition shade. I'm honestly kind of frightened to see how this look is going to turn out. I'm not like a beauty guru or anything I don't like. I don't just sit here and like come up with makeup tutorials to do. So I'm gonna try to do something like this. I'm not that, I'm not really artsy at all. Like most makeup people are. I'm not, I'm not artistic in any way, shape or form. <laughs> There's nothing artistic about me. So yeah, we'll see how that works out. Okay, the next question is, what, what makes you wake up and grind every day? Um, I don't know, my kids, probably, yeah. I feel like they make me push past a lot of my like daily challenges and like daily stresses and they're just always just there and yeah everything that I do on a daily basis um, is always for them I'm always trying to you know, make sure I get them out in the world, teach them new things, um, obviously make money for them, but yeah, I would have to say my girls are definitely like my motivation to keep going every day. Um, yeah, that's about, that's all I want to get into that. Um, what inspires you is the next question. And, sorry, I'm trying to look at this look also. So it looks like it's like a cut crease. Um, what inspires me? Hmm. Honestly, what inspires me is just other people. Um, I get a lot of my inspiration from dudes like dudes in the music industry, the fashion industry. Um, I don't know, I really like how guys in the industry carry themselves. And yeah, I don't know, I would have to say probably just, honestly just people in general just inspire me because like no matter who you are and no matter what you're going through, there's somebody that's on the opposite side of the world even than you and they're just going through it you know like even more than you are and it just makes you just wake up and just appreciate what you have right in front of you I have not done eyeshadow for a while like actual eyeshadow I mean I do basic eyeshadow but This is some fancy shit, huh? Okay, my next question is, I can't read that one. Um, okay, so also, there are some questions on here that I can't answer on YouTube for specific reasons, just because we live in the state that we live in. Um, but those, of you that I can't answer the questions personally on YouTube, like on my video, I'll answer back just directly on Snapchat later on tonight. Wet. It's just this little 
Eco Tools liner brush um, because I'm going to be using the red in the James Charles palette to do a liner. And we shall see how this goes. I've done it before, but it's been a while, and I've never done it with lashes. So this is going to be a challenge. I don't know how I'm going to even film this. Yeah, because the problem that I'm having is I don't know how to use my tripod. It's all electric, and it's supposed to follow my face, but it's not working. It's just stuck in one spot, and so when you try to move the gimbal, the phone just stays stuck, like right here. So yeah, I'm gonna try to do this, but I don't know. Okay, now that I have the red eyeliner that you can't really see because my lashes, a struggle. Um, the next question is, have you ever experimented with any other drugs except weed, and how do they make you feel? Um, yes, I have. I've done some. Um, no, I've done acid, and honestly, I love the way that it made, like, my aura feel. I just felt really euphoric. Um, the only part I didn't like about well, actually, the only thing I don't like about other drugs in general are the come down. Um, anything other than that, I do like about them. But my very first experience was bomb. I did it with my best friend. And we honestly laughed for 12 hours. Just sat in my garage, sat in my backyard, looked at the stars. Um, my second time, I it was a really different experience than the first. Um, I went into it with the approach of wanting a spiritual outcome. So with that, that time, that trip, we meditated under the full moon with all our crystals and stuff, and that was really cool. Um, next question is, by the way, that's how it's turning out. Next question is, thoughts on marijuana? I think it should be legal for all. Um, when it comes to Idaho stance point, I think they should at least legal it, legalize it for medical purposes because, I mean, at this point, it's honestly just, it's just ridiculous that they haven't for medical purposes, um, because of how many people it actually does help, but I'll always stand by it, stand behind it, for it, um, never against it. Um, the next one is, who is the biggest blessing in your life? That would be probably my kids, my family, um, not just blood family. So yeah, my biggest blessing in my life would have to be my family. Um, like I said, not even just blood related, um, family to me is anybody that's been there, supported me through my ups, supported me through my downs, um, always held my back, never, you know, never left. Um, that's what family means for me, so you guys know who you are, and shout out to the real ones. Um, the next question is, how many relationships have you been in? And girl, that is tricky, because I've been in, like, it... oh my god, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um... I've been in like 20 to 30 boyfriend and girlfriend relationships. Um, <laughs> keep in mind some of those relation relationships. <laughs> some of those relationships lasted a whole day before ending it. 
Um, so I mean, they were nothing serious. Um, I've only been in about I've only been in two serious relationships: the one that I'm in right now, and the one that I was in right before this relationship. So th those are the only ones I ever took seriously. All the other ones were just whatever little little experiments or whatever you want to call it. Wow, I'm no good at this. Take three. Okay, you want the art right there. Oh, that okay. looks good. Let me see. Hold on. I want it them to actually see me doing it. Okay. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Actually go over your eyebrow. It's supposed to look like it's going over it. I know, but... <laughs> I warned you guys, I'm not an artist. I'm not. I have no business doing any of this. <sighs> do it for the clout. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm really gonna do little bulbs. They look fucking crazy. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> There's something seriously wrong with me. <laughs> Absolutely. A hundred and ten. No business doing this. Just a little color. <laughs> okay, and now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> put that on top of the colors after you put color. Oh, that It'll makes make, a lot more sense. <laughs> okay. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do some red. <laughs> Another little red guy. Oh, lots of red guy. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe some yellow guys. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's so horrible. It's bad. No, it's really it's, bad. It's not even that bad. Okay, and then we'll do green. That's a dark. <laughs> It's a gorgeous color. <laughs> My boyfriend's gonna shit his pants when he sees me. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go in with this starlet stu- You guys don't even care, honestly. Nobody's watching guy. at this point. Like, no one's watching the video at this point. Everybody's tuned out. Nope. They're in the middle. I could say I'm taking this seriously, but I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> After I seen the line, I just gave up. <laughs> I tried no further after that. You're gonna try the Santa hat on the other eye, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on, let me go to another question. Okay. How often do you get out of the house by yourself? Um, but honestly though, not often. Um, I normally have the girls with me wherever I go. Okay. What makes you motivated to keep doing what you do? Honestly, probably myself. Just how funny 
like literally just making this video. I've been stressed out all day. I've been really antsy all day. I've been getting really bad anxiety attacks today. And just being able to come into the bathroom and just film this little tutorial, even though it's going completely down the trash, down the trash. Mm -hmm. Down the drain. <laughs> it's going completely down the drain. It's fine. We came here to have fun. And fun is what we're having. And a mess. I'm a mess. But hey. <laughs> Good. <coughs> and see, this is why I don't stray from my comfort zone. I'm really not good for anything. So if you guys are expecting me to make a crazy comeback or a crazy video that's going to go viral, it's just, it's, I'm not it, fam. Okay, I'm not it. Go to somebody else's channel because it's not happening here. Because <laughs> this is what's happening here. I don't even want to post this because it's so ugly, but I'm going to. Um, okay, next question is favorite series on Netflix or Hulu? Wow, that was a lot. Um, Netflix, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, um, Vampire Diaries, um, Yeah. Hulu, I like watching Good Trouble, Grownish, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. And uh, the next question is Do you read? If you do, what type of books? Um, I do read and. I like reading, the series I'm reading right now is the Ellen Hopkins, the Glass series, or the Glass trilogy. Um, it's really freaking good, if you guys don't know what it is, it's about the author's daughter and her addiction to meth, and it goes through like the whole story about it, her relapses, trying to get clean, um, she ends up having kids, and you know, seeing their kids go through the foster system, and just everything, it's just really in your face and real, and that's what I like, is real, the real deal, and like this. <coughs> Now I'm just going to take <coughs> my butter bronzer and attempt to make my skin look any better than my eyebrow at the moment. Because right now, I look like a fucking nut. I look like a Whoville. A Whoville? <laughs> <laughs> I look like a Who from Whoville. Except ones on drugs. Since, yeah, that was an assumption about me, by the way. I haven't read the assumptions. Fun. First time I saw you pull up. Hold up. First time I saw you pull up, I was like, ah, oh, shit, damn, she a crackhead. I think I'm lying. <clears throat> Yep. Receipt. That's all my questions that I want to read. Um, I have like comments and stuff, but a lot of them I can't read here for some specific reasons. But yeah, this is my horrible attempt at the really pretty makeup that this girl did. 
This is my attempt. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that. Me making a fool out of myself for an hour straight. Um, yeah, if you guys like this video, let me know in the comments below. I'm just going to jump off right here. I'm not going to finish my highlight and everything like that. Um, I'm just not... I don't know what to tell you. So, yeah. This is the look. Um, yes, I am very well aware that this is really bad. I know. Thank you. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.